I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're GLI. Twenty-two Volkswagen Jetta GLI manual transmission, no launch control. <laughs> Not bad. Horsepower and torque. Two hundred and twenty-eight horsepower, two hundred and fifty-eight pound-feet of torque from a two-liter turbo four-cylinder. I'm gonna downshift and feel that torque. There it is. It's very, nice. very satisfying. It's enough to actually throw you back in your seat. So this actually has less power than the new GTI, and the new GTI is like a whole new car. This is just a refresh. And the nice thing about the inside of this one is that it's the older infotainment, so we do have hard buttons for our climate, and the touchscreen and infotainment is different. We got a volume knob and a tuning knob. Yuri, this is the GTI killer. RIP GTI. RIP. All because of this interior. And RIP Civic Si? No. Oh, no. No, not no, really. No, no. Civic Si and this are very close. And then there's one thing that's going to RIP this GLI. And for me, that is the steering column. I posted about it on my Instagram. Make sure you guys follow us both. A lot of people also agree that they bang their knees on this. I think it goes down too much. And I really don't like it. And no matter what I did to get comfortable, Jacob can confirm didn't seem to be a way to not get out without sliding your foot under the brake pedal first. Yeah, uh, I also have to do that as well. I'm in a slightly better position, but my knee definitely still hits in and out. Yeah, I don't get it. No, and it's, no other cars do this except Volkswagens. Yeah, and uh, I think I did ask about it years ago and I got kind of like a joke response, so I'm not, I don't know, I just, I don't get it. Yeah. But next, what I'd like to talk about, a thing I do like to maybe redeem the steering column is the looks of this, I think the refresh looks great. I love the front end and what they did with those little red circles at the bottom on the sides. Yeah, it does generally look good. However, when you look at it from like the front three quarter, I think they look kind of silly. It looks like this really thick lipstick, but if you look at it straight on, I think it looks good. And the headlights, the DRLs line up perfectly with the line. The rest of the Jetta is like pretty much the same. I, I actually don't even know if the taillights are, are different. Or the no, same. no, it all kind of blends so much. It's just bumpers that they slightly tweaked basically. I did notice that we got dual exhaust back there and we got fake grill mesh back there, but in a car like this, you kind of expect fake grill mesh. Let's take a listen from the outside. And those dual exhausts sound okay. Nice that you can rev it all the way to redline. Quickly into cliche quarter. Good power, uh, yeah. pushes out a little bit, but like it's got what, like an LSD or something? Yeah, it's got a ELSD, I think. It, it does handle That's good. pretty well and it is pretty fast. Yeah, so I think it's a mechanical LSD that is electronically controlled. And, and you can actually change that through your drive modes as well. And we did have like a mini meetup a couple months ago at Toronto Motorsport Park, Cayuga. And I did race a subscriber who had a GLI with some mods on it. I did get him off the line of my 350Z and then he caught right up. So that shows how fast these things are. Not that a 350Z is fast. Yeah, no. But these things are fast once you get going. And one thing we glossed over is these gloss black wheels. Not really memorable, they're just okay. They look so bad combined with non-shiny tires. Yeah, you have to tire shine your tires if you have gloss black wheels. And what would be the tire shine Continental recommended tire for a black wheeled GLI? So that would be the Extreme Contact Sport. All right, looks wise, do you like it more than the Civic Si? Ooh, that's an interesting one. I'd say pretty tied. I'm gonna say tied. Like they actually kind of look similar in some ways, but do you totally like, different. Do you like the looks more than the GTI? I'm gonna say no. No. But do you like the interior of this more than the GTI? A thousand million percent, yes. Okay, your turn to get behind the wheel and do the launch control, that there's no launch control, and we'll talk about the fake pumped in audio. I'm gonna put the gas pedal 1,000 million percent down to the floor. Okay, if you hit your knees while getting into this car, <laughs> the review ends. Oh, damn it. Is this review gonna be over? Oh yeah, the new, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, review's uh, over, <laughs> play the outro music. To be fair, let me let go me back into me. my driving position. I think this would be it. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> and if you slide your foot under the gas pedal to get in? Yeah, I mean, I can. Eh. It's, it's not ideal, it's definitely yeah. not ideal. You know I don't use the word deal breaker lightly, but. Literally the lightest person there, of all time. To I use literally, that this term. was Volkswagen. This was a Volkswagen deal breaker. Okay. And that's why I got a Mazda. Here's the thing, though. So now, if I actually want the steering wheel where I want it to be, like not even. Yeah, let's, like this isn't even close. 
this is where I want the steering wheel. And then this part on the left side is like so sharp and pointy that like, I feel like, you know, you bang the inside of your knee against something. Uh, yeah, right there, no, right there. Yeah, bang yeah. the inside of your knee against that. Yeah, I don't really want to. Yeah, it's like a stick point, <laughs> <laughs> ligament damage. Enough about this, Yuri. Let's uh, turn off the parking brake, which is cool. electronic. I have to push your foot on the brake. Foot on the brake and push. Okay, ready? <laughs> No, that's too high revs. Let's go 4,000. Oh, traction. And, and traction stability is all the way off. And it still has the light that shows up. Yeah. It's as off as I can get it. Okay, so other than the traction being very intrusive, even though it is technically fully off, this car does rip. Like, it's it, the, the torquiness yeah. is very nice. But remember, it's not a GLI-R. Right. Or a Jetta R. And it's not even the new GTI, which yeah. has more horsepower and torque. Is that the uh, new one? Can you turn the traction all the way off? I feel like that was like a thing. Everyone's bragging because you I, couldn't do it before. Yeah, uh, I, I don't remember. We drove that car like, it feels like forever ago now. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you could def fully defeat it in that car. And then remember we did have some problems with like at the four motion thing in our four motion video where we got to drive a bunch of different Volkswagens. You couldn't fully turn it off in certain cars or a certain way. Yeah, Even yeah, the Golf R and stuff. Yeah, the infotainments and stuff. Yeah. But then this one also does not have a handbrake. It's got the little finger brake, which I think we roasted this car straight up, roasted, broke the internet with our or epic roast because of that one commercial where they're doing all handbrake turns. And the, the only cool part of it was that. Yeah. Well, also shout out Hoonigan for just, they just had fun with that commercial. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that was Scotto. I feel like I'm against fast forwarding footage in cars and like adding parts to make cool drifts. Yeah, no, I, I get that. So the transmission itself is actually quite nice. The shifter's just really sloppy, but it's very forgiving. Like everything about the clutch and the transmission is forgiving. So I don't mind this at all. And so in terms of drive modes, we do have eco, comfort, normal, sport, and custom. And then if you go to custom, you can change all of your settings, including this has adaptive suspension, which is really cool. The suspension is really good in this car. I have zero complaints about it. Yeah, even the sport is nice. I'm not quite sure if this is softer than the Civic, but it's like on par with the Civic, I would say. Should we uh, toggle through the engine sound? Let's do it, Yuri. Uh, where'd it go? Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's pumped in. But it's uh, not bad. It's really not that bad. It just sounds like you have an intake. Uh, so let's go full engine sound right now, sport. I'm all right with it. I'm not offended by it. I mean, um, you can turn it off if you want, set up custom, great job, Volkswagen. Exactly, and now let's go back into sport mode. And then uh, traction is still fully off and let's send it into cliche corner. So downshift and it feels really good like the turn is good you can feel the differential doing stuff the fact that we have it in sport mode it's a little extra aggressive and i think the only thing holding this back is the tires and it's pulling through like kind of feels civic ish like civic si ish it's good okay next test this does not have auto rev matching unlike the civic si how do you feel about the pedal box uh it's not bad so i was able to heel till there here i'll do one for fun here good Nice. Not the smoothest, and, and, but, but I'm not. You do the roll, part. right? Yeah, I always have to do the roll. You don't do the full side? No. Every... If you did full side, you'd probably smash your knee into that. Try the full oh, side. There's not enough room between yeah, the steering yeah, column yeah. and this. So, yeah. <laughs> I always go full side. I don't do the roll. No, I always have to do the roll. I don't fit anywhere. My feet are too big. The rest of this interior is really good. Like we said, uh, materials are just kind of okay, but it feels very German in a good way. Everything's really solid. We do have a digital display, which is really nice, I'd say. Yeah. I'm. I'm not mad at it one bit. No, it's cool that it goes red too for uh, sporty mode. Sorry, I'm gonna go into Infotainment gears. is nice because we do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And in Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, if you click the app button, it'll go right to your Apple CarPlay projection. But if you click nav, it won't go to your Apple CarPlay nav. It'll go to the onboard nav, which nobody ever should use. Right, but it's still nice that it goes to app. That, uh, that's so very what, good. what don't we have, Yuri? Well, this isn't subscribed to SiriusXM right now. It expired. Yeah, but, but it, it has it. Yeah. Just somebody at Volkswagen didn't renew the subscription. And if you, our loyal viewers and subscribers, bought a car and the SiriusXM is not active, you can probably get a free three months. Hit up SiriusXM.ca.com slash the straight pipes for details. And if you did buy a car and it wasn't activated and you bought it through tsp.truecar.com, discounted price offers, highly recommend trying. Yeah, yeah. Buy a car from tsp.truecar.com if you live in the States. Yes. Actually, discounted price offers if you use our link. Let us know how your tsp.truecar.com experience was or just use it to browse cars that you're not buying. Yeah. Hundreds of people have bought cars through our link. 
and quickly back to this interior. The steering wheel is quite nice. I like the shape of it and everything. The texture is good. The thing I don't like is these gloss black uh, capacitive buttons. Yeah, I did not enjoy using that for volume and tuning and all the stuff and cruise control all week. <laughs> and then you pointed out that we're actually missing a heated steering wheel and I didn't realize what you were saying until yeah. I looked very closely. They pulled a Porsche where the button's hidden back there. They did a good job of that. I, I gotta give them that. And then other stuff in here, uh, we've got a nice place to put our phone. We've got USB-C for the Apple CarPlay, which I needed to go in the house and get a different cable. And what about our cup holders? Big old fail. And then how about our visors? I think they'll pass. Three, oh. two, one. Yes, good job. Ah. No! Volkswagen, what the heck? But these seats are really comfortable, like no issues at all. They look kind of cool too. Yeah, except there's no lumbar on this side and I think the driver's side only has forward back, no up and down. You are correct, sir. Okay, back seat room. Jacob, do you fit there I, at a freakishly tall six foot one and a half? I fit totally fine, except my head or my hair actually does touch the roof, but plenty of leg room. And then the trunk room is good and you can fold down the seats from the very back and I don't really have any issues with that. Oh, and one cool thing I forgot to mention is do you like this red kind of intertwined texture yeah, on very, the dash? That's, yeah, that's cool material for I sure. really like and that. The doors. As an alternative to gloss black, this is this is good Volkswagen. Not that this does not have gloss black. No, no, but as an alternative, it's, it's as, just, an, as an addition. Yeah, put that everywhere else. Put, put that on the steering wheel, make the buttons like that so I can't even read them. Yeah, I'd be down with that and I think with that, we've talked about everything we'd like to talk about with this GLI. Yeah, so there's only one price left to talk about. Let's get to the price. This one is $31,895. Canadian. And there's only one trim for this car and this is it. It's cool that they offer it in manual. It's cool that it has a good amount of power and it's cool it's got the old infotainment and everything. But I don't like how the traction is still so intrusive and I don't like the steering column. And I fully agree with all of your points. And to talk about this versus the Civic Si, I'd actually have a bit of trouble making that decision, but I think I would still end up with the Civic, Civic SI. Civic SI, no question. Yeah, it's just Civic SI in this generation is so good now. But the thing is, Civic SI doesn't come in a non-manual where this does. However, you can buy a Integra yes. with a CVT, True. which is kind of the Civic SI non-manual. So let us know what you guys think of the new-ish Jetta GLI and would you take this over a GTI? Is this interior worth getting the GLI over the GTI? Is this RIP GTI? And the GTI is even more money too. So.